Hey gang, Dave here, getting any gourmet, and today I'm coming at you live from my kitchen slash dining area slash area of operations, and I'm going to be showing you guys the most coveted getting any gourmet secret that I hold near and dear in my heart: my venison sausage recipe. First, we need a one-handle pot. I get a one-handle pot because Dave doesn't get a two-handle pot. Dave gets to use the old pot, not the new pot. And then I'm going to be using, we're gonna make 10 pounds of sausage. Pork, venison. It's gonna go a bit of a, we like our sausage not too dry, so we're gonna go with 60-40 venison to pork. Okay, and here we go. All right, step one, I throw the pork in the bucket. Now, I'm doing four pounds of pork, six pounds of venison. So I'm gonna open these, get those in there too. My sous chef is down on the treadmill getting her butt in shape. So I'm the only person chefing right now. that. Okay, six pounds of venison, four pounds pork. Now, oh, notice the gloves guys? This is for anybody that gets to sample some of the sausage. I wore gloves. Lucky you. All right, first step, first step. One and a half cups ice water. Put that in there. Powdered milk about one cup for what I'm gonna do. Powdered milk is going to allow whatever spices I have here to mm, interact with the meat. So this here, I think that was sugar. We'll say that's a half cup sugar. And about similar onion powder, you could use garlic powder, you could use whatever flavors you like. I'm gonna throw some of that in there too. And the salt I choose is a pickling salt, heavy pickling salt. So pretty crunchy critter stuff in there. And I don't know how much is in there. And third of a cup-ish. And that much black pepper. And some mystery brown powder. It's nutmeg. And then we get to the mixing. This is where you test your hands to see how they react to the cold. Because the meat is freezing cold. The water's supposed to be freezing cold. There's these things that they build, they're called mixers. That if you were nice and rich and had nothing but money to burn, this would be kind of cool, because right now my powdered milk is right at the bottom. So this is going to take a few minutes, and I'll get back to you guys. Come in. Look at this thing. Everybody's got their pride and joy. Pride and joy for you right here. The right recipes. <laughs> a cover. Check this thing. All right, meat's back in from outside. We've got a freezer outside. Actually, it's minus five up right now, so that's perfect refrigeration. So, got the, the horn on the stuffer. Got the Stuff are ready to go. Gloves got dirty. What are you gonna do? Wash my hands. Trust me. That's it. Got to put that meat down in that little where the thing is, the bottom where the meat comes out. Yeah, pack her in there really good. And then once you got her started there, you just start feeding her. Sticky. I don't want any air in the sausage, so you gotta give it a feeding like that. 
and some more of this. And that looks like two tubes full. Oh, meat on the table. Some more of that. All right, now for the kind of G roast part. This here is out of the, another part of the piggy. You can pick this up at most country grocery stores. This is piggy intestines. And it comes in little packages packed with salt. And <laughs> if you let your mind play some pretty funky tricks, uh, you can call these things all kinds of fun stuff. I got some names I call them, but I'm not allowed to use them, the names no more. But come on, piggy tats, I need to take some water. What I like to do is get a little bit of water down in that tube so it goes on that, that thing first. Well, let's see what happens. Come on, piggy. This is like my last 15. <laughs> Not the piggy test I need. Oh, it's not slipping up. Oh, there it's starting. Come on, baby, get on there. This is not quite soaked long enough in the water. It's sort of... Cut! Cut! We're going to have to come back. We're back. And good thing we took a break. I swore two times getting this on because I didn't let it soak long enough in the water. And the difference between the actual hog casing and the collagen casing. Hog casing is way better. It's another way to utilize another piece of the animal protein. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> Too excited. Okay, so I know the little tube's full of meat. So I don't want it all full of meat. I need just a little bit left over. What I'm going to do at the end here is just tie a single knot nice and tight to the meat. That kind of scared me a little bit. And I don't have a very big section on just enough to get you guys kind of excited, hopefully. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm on that. Yeah, that was the right one. There's a high speed, high gear, low gear on this thing. I forgot which one I was on. By packing it in there and giving it a bunch of punch in there a while ago, it's gonna get rid of a lot of the air bubbles and stuff in there. Now this sausage. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. Ah, I had a volunteer from the crowd. Uh, same volunteer, give me a nice, nice reminder. Marriage tip number twenty-six: wash all your stuff. Soapy water. Hot. Hot soapy water. Sorry, hot soapy water. Uh, anyway, back to the stuffing. Hell yeah, I was saying. If you don't like the sausage spicy, this is the kind of stuff you're gonna like. Some people can't handle anything hotter than ketchup, so this is right up your alley. But if you do like it spicier, you can add any spice or seasoning that your little heart desires. As long as you get your pork to sausage ratio right, so the sausage isn't too dry or too greasy, uh, you're gonna be happy. And this here is going to be one. Anybody ever ask? Hey, do you link your own sausage? Yes, I link my own sausage. Here we go. We're getting there. Oop. Well, this is. Somebody's got to get me a sausage bun big enough to eat this thing now. There, now I'm gonna stop about an inch and that much -ish away from the end of the, not allowed to call it that. Okay, away from the end of the sauce is hog casing. I call it something else sometimes. Then I'm gonna back this off, one little turn. I'm gonna stop the meat off right there. Throw that back in my bucket. Anyway, you know what's a trick? So you almost can tie the knot and you wanna use your teeth to get, grab the end. But if somebody goes, don't do that. Yeah, I'm getting that right now. Come on, tie, you bugger, tie. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's my finger. Oh, there we go. I just had to make a little more 
room in there. Oh, that's a little better. Ha! Leak your own sausage, lad. Right there. Hey, look at that, nice little heart. Look at this. Don't you love Dave's deer sausage? That's it, now I'm gonna do that about, uh, I don't know, 10, 15 more times. Oh, and whatever size length sausage you want, this is when you spin them. I'm gonna get, ah, let's get four out of this little, ooh, I got her stuffed. And then, one right about there. There we go, guys. Four sausages, ready to go. So, if you like that kind of crap that I'm doing, like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff, or don't, whatever. Um, I'm gonna keep putting this stuff out. Hope you like it. Leave a comment. Share your recipes with me for a change. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, see you on the lake, on the water, in the kitchen, out in the bush, I don't know where. Ooh, bonus footage. Looky, 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 sausage. Got three little patties left over from the bottom of the stuffer. So I'm gonna fry those up and get them into me.